Welcome back to BeYoungMinistry.com, to another blog and to another podcast. Today we continue in our study of the book of Romans, we're chapter 5 and verse 1, which reads, Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. That's Romans chapter 5 and verse 1. Today we continue our study of the letter written to the first century Christians who lived in Rome. This powerful book is a description of the righteousness of God come to the souls of those who are humble enough to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Romans is about the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ, through whom God arranged the only way to be made right before him. Whereas Romans chapter 4 was about the basis of our justification before God, Romans chapter 5 is about the benefits of our justification before God. Today we will consider the first of these benefits, and it is peace with God. Peace with God brings to a screeching halt the hostility that existed between us and God. This hostility was not of God. It was created out of the void of our disconnection with Him due to our violent and intentional rejection of His kingdom in our lives. The first immediate effect of our justification means our war with God is over. It means our rebellion against Him and our war with Him is history because the Lord Jesus signed our peace treaty with God through his blood. I find a lot of people who say it's not fair that God holds all of mankind responsible for the choice of Adam and Eve. Well, he doesn't. He holds us responsible for our choice of rebellion against him. He holds us responsible for choosing to reject the free gift that solves our problem of separation from him and all that is good. But when we receive the free gift that his son garnered for us, we experience peace with God. The believer's justification before God through Christ brings with it the declaration, God's declaration, of acquittal. This legal declaration results in peace with God. This acquittal is not based on our merit or performance. It is not even pronounced on us because we are somehow not guilty in and of ourselves. No, it is pronounced by God as a result of the work of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. It is accessed by us when we come to the point of deciding to place our faith solely in the Lord Jesus Christ. The second law of thermodynamics declares anything left in isolation deteriorates. Sin has separated us from God and eternal life. This separation is largely expressed in our lives by our distrust of God. When God reconciled us to himself through the death of his son, he made it possible for his wrath to be diverted from us onto his son. By the death of the Lord Jesus, The barrier of separation that sin erected between us and God can be ripped away only if we receive the free gift. When we get to the point of being willing of heart to believe, our place in the family of God will be realized by us. There are three types of peace in the Bible. There is a spiritual peace or peace with God. Then there is psychological peace or peace within And then, finally, there's relational peace, or peace with others. Peace with God makes the other two possible, and it is a gift. Peace within oneself is the fruit of that gift, and peace between people is a result of the work of God's righteousness in our lives. According to today's verse, having been reunited to God through His Son, We have access to eternal life, which is much more than the forgiveness of sin and the ability to get into heaven. This life, with the touch of eternity upon it, 
brings with it the ability to get life right now. Not that we can earn or maintain rightness with God. The Lord Jesus took care of that. No, this life brings with it the ability to access the wisdom of God. The importance of this is far-reaching. In fact, far more reaching than we can imagine because it gets to the real purpose behind our sanctification, which is the salvation of the lost. Yeah, you heard me right. Our sanctification or the process that we enter into after we've been justified before God, that process of sanctification where God is changing our souls or our minds, our wills, and emotions, the whole goal of that is that others who are lost might be saved through our lives. It is God's design that as we come into a personal relationship with Him and we grow in His wisdom and culture by choosing to walk in His Word, obeying His Word, allowing His Word to define us, it is then that the lost will be able to peer into our lives and want what we have with God. My friends, I trust this blog and this podcast are helpful to you in your walk with the Lord. If I can be of further assistance to you, shoot me an email at beyoungministry at gmail.com. Hey, have a great day.